Good morning everyone. Today we are going to start the new chapter that is Albert Einstein at school. It is written by Patrick Pingle and very interesting chapter. We discussed something about education system last time and today we are going to discuss the theme of this chapter. The basic theme of Albert Einstein at school is to throw light on the modern way of providing education. Education definitely doesn't mean mugging up. It means understanding facts and gaining practical knowledge. And when we read this chapter, we understand what it means, how this education normally that you find in schools is different from real knowledge or education. Education cannot be given in schools. It has to be attained that it wants to tell. It reveals that extraordinary personalities with exceptional intellectual capabilities are not necessarily noticed during early years. As is clear with Einstein, he was expelled from the school by saying that you are very notorious, you are a disturbance for the whole of the class, teachers are not able to teach because of you, and that's why it will be better if you leave. Halbert also hated the system of education in his school. As subjects of his interest were given less importance. He was interested in geology, maths, something reasoning. But these things were not taught in the schools. He also emphasizes on freedom of thought and inquiry. From the very beginning, the reader is impressed with the lack of these qualities in German schools and the German society in which Einstein is raised. During the years of World War I, Einstein finds it particularly difficult to live in Germany. As we have seen over here, he tries to leave the place as early as possible. Education system, we find out, is entirely based on cramming. Students are required to cram facts and figures, historical dates and research done in past. No importance is give, given to creative imagination of a student. If a student shows signs of innovation, he is sidelined not only by teachers but students as well and he is considered as a rebel. Instead of rote learning, students' real ability and intelligence should be highlighted and they must be encouraged by the teachers. This probably is the answer that I gave you what changes shall be brought over in the education system. Many students show extraordinary talent but they become a laughing stock only because the teachers themselves cannot keep pace with them. Teachers will have to change, change their methodology, change the understanding level. They will have to go through the things again and again so that they can answer that particular child. And that probably teachers don't want. That's why things are not changing fast. Special training sessions must be arranged for such students so that they may bring laurels to their institute. I will go through shortly about the characters. Apart from Einstein, Mr. Brown, he was Einstein's history teacher who believes in rot learning. Yuri, he was Einstein's good friend and a very helpful person. Elsa, she was Einstein's cousin, 
who advised him that he will eventually succeed if he continues in his school. Dr. Ernst Weil, he was a newly qualified doctor who understands Einstein and helps him by giving the medical certificate which he required. Mr. Koch, the maths teacher who understood his genius and gave him the reference he wanted. Head teacher role was quite less. He is just an administrator, simply takes the disciplinary action required by requesting him to go and leave the school. He didn't try to know the second side, that is, what Einstein wanted to say, that he was not concerned. He would just listen to the teacher and acted upon it. One main thing, Albert, it centers around Albert Einstein, who is considered as one of the greatest physicists at all time. This extract describes the circumstances which lead to his expulsion from a German school. We will stop it here itself and cover the remaining things next time. Till then, bye.